What's up, gamers? Hello, everybody. We're back on this game. All right, so uh, I actually do a story for today. So we uh, kind of had a long break. Between sessions. Sorry. Ugh. Oh yeah, we um. So the way that we do things is we get together like once a month, and uh, it just happened to be that it was way more than once a month this time. So. So I I went out of Ohio twice during that time. Oh, wow. Uh, the first time was um, my quote unquote trip around America. <laughs> uh, so before okay. I left, what? No, it's just. Uh, oh, before, before I left, uh, I did not really know where we were going, so I just told people, um, oh yeah, we're just going to like Montana or something. I don't know. Um, and then choose a <laughs> random <laughs> state. Oh, you, you have no idea. So we get there, and it turns out that it's okay. Honestly, I still don't really know where we were, but it's wherever <laughs> like the basic training base was for like the army. Um, <laughs> so we get there, and I put on my Snapchat story, just checked into San Diego, feeling good. <laughs> so I make the decision of. You know what would be really funny? Just people not knowing where I was. So oh, I turned no. off my stat map, and then just for the rest of the trip, proceeded to like spout off random locations um, <laughs> as to where I was. So I'd like talk to my grandma, and I'm like, man, the weather in New Hampshire is a lot more, you know, warm than I thought it'd be this time of year. And she's like, Aiden, you're a disgrace. I'm like, you're so <laughs> funny, grandma. <laughs> <laughs> um, you wow. know, just stuff like that the entire trip. Good old grandma. <laughs> um, what made me feel good was people actually picked up on it and didn't just like, you know, just forget about my stories right after I posted them, uh, which felt really good because like a few girls texted me and was like, okay, seriously, where are you? It's like, I don't know. I, I, I could Around. be somewhere in Nevada. They're like, frick you, Here tell you me where you are. Word. Um, what, what kind of gave it away was, on the way back, we stopped at St. Louis, and we, like, took pictures of the arch and stuff, um, and people were like, ha, look at you, you're at the arch, I know where you are now, I'm like, you don't know that that wasn't photoshopped, <laughs> people off, quickly backpedaling, and we did get to stop at a, one nice tourist destination, um, called Duranus, USA, Right on Route 66, which was the definition of a tourist trap. It was like it was like a cruder, modern version of uh, the the Gravity Falls Mystery Shack, uh, to put it that way. And I texted Dalton and was like, "Hey, kind of chilling in Uranus right now." And he was like, "What?" <laughs> and I started to the, the, the sign, and Dalton was like, "Hmm." I don't remember exactly what you said, but you were like a little, uh... I was just like, what are you talking about? I was concerned about my whereabouts. <laughs> yeah, well, if you say that you're chilling in my anus, then... <laughs> what do the stars do? They shoot in five directions, they're weird and wacky. But anyway, um, even when I came back, I still haven't really told people where I went. <laughs> because I can't really remember. Move. But, uh, I was gonna do it for my Myrtle Beach trip, but... The joke was kind of dead, so I decided against it and just decided, hey, we're just going to be normal. <laughs> we're once. not going to be a disgrace to my family <laughs> tonight. But uh, it was fun. It, it it made me feel good and, like, gratified that people actually, like, cared and were interested in where I was. Yeah, that makes sense. Because I thought people were going to be, like, not replying to my stories at all which is what people typically do because yeah, i have i have the worst my followers on my personal instagram are some of the you know just following me because they know me that that's it they don't care yeah that's um, that's why i don't use social media it's like yeah people don't care if, if i don't care why should i expect you to care and then the jsb instagram they like us so they do care do they yeah really <laughs> i mean our, our small fan base cares. We have a small but dedicated fan base. Same with Great Blue. You guys are amazing. It, yeah, if you are if you watch our stuff, um, I automatically like you. 
Oh, in any weird way, Dominic. Just can freaking <laughs> Dominic. I, I'm 18. <laughs> Shut the frick up. <laughs> Don't. I, I said, um, guys, I'm really, de I'm really depresso. Uh, I need to get a GF soon. I'm going to die. And Dominic poses on a story. Um, hey, um, GF up my uh, my boy Aiden. And someone replied to a story. Uh, do, do, does it have to be a girl? And he said, <laughs> no. And I said, Dominic, I'm not gay. We've gone over this. <laughs> I really don't want a relationship with a girl. Power move. I mean, wait, wait, hold up. <laughs> well, that's a sound bite I have now, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hmm. Well, that happened. Speaking of trying to set me up with guys, my sister was over today uh, before I left for work. She's like, yeah, this venue that you can come to and you can like play music and talk to high school girls. And she was like, you can also talk to high school guys, there's a lot of them there. Like, I could set you up with my no dance thanks. partner who's shorter than me. And I said, Hannah, you do realize that um, I do not swing that way whatsoever but in any Mr. way, Trump, shape, or form. <laughs> wouldn't that make you gay? I said, no, I'm just suggesting. I was like, right, yeah, just a sis. friendly suggestion. So I'll read into it. <laughs> so nothing like someone telling you that you should date guys. <laughs> Feels great, man. That's a power move, though. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Dalton. What? How's it going? Oh, pretty good. Okay, so one thing we should address is the Area 51 raid that happened. In oh, now and yeah. Then. That was a disappointment. With that. <laughs> Honestly, though, like, I, I expected not a lot of people to show up, but not only a hundred people. And getting arrested for public urination during the raid, like, what is that? <laughs> it's just like a sign just hold it right there. <laughs> oh. So. There was a single thing or something. What? Expect me to, like... Do a bunch of stuff to prepare for that? Oh, I didn't even see the diggers on me. Yeah, no, he was like, he was on the screen. I was like, oh, geez, I'm gonna have to like set up some crazy defenses, and I set up all of these star fruits to deal with it. And there's one of them. Oh, uh, it looks like we're fine. <laughs> Put a light here. We, we can. We're just gonna like. <laughs> I, I like putting the uh, the plants that fire backwards, like behind them. So why aren't just... they shooting? These aren't in range. Oh. The, the hitboxes for the Starfruits are really weird. Alright, pumpkins, these are rad. Ooh, just in time for Halloween. Wow, spook timber. <laughs> oh man, around this time you might be at Pumpkin Show. Yeah, oh, frick you. <laughs> I've, I've told all my friends, hey, if you're thinking about coming to Pumpkin don't Show... Don't tell them that! I don't want to do this! <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be good. Oh no, it's really not. <laughs> it's... Oh, poor Dalton. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Well. <laughs> Imagine not dressing up as Yoshi as at every conceivable moment. Like, what is that? I, okay, we're like reaching the end of the recording session for um October for September. Uh, I've worn the Yoshi costume for the entire time, and I regret every second of it. It's very comfortable, but it's still just <laughs> I regret every second. But it's pretty, you know. It's like you know, if you're a good man. <laughs> Oh, no right. star fruit question mark? No, those are blame. Oh. Hmm. You want to tell your uh, Mission Impossible story? Uh, it's nothing spectacular. We just had an event at college called Mission Impossible, where um, they like gave us areas around campus that we had to like go to. There were people running around with pool noodles, and if you got hit, you were out. So it was like encouraging like secret Game agent work. Violence. Yeah, sure. <laughs> but it was encouraging people to be like a secret agent, you know, like, like in a, infiltrate all three areas. Impossible mission. Wow. Wow. We're <laughs> living in a society. <laughs> but it was pretty interesting because, like, you had. There was some guy. A lot of people were, like, dressing in dark clothes. There was some guy who was just an Ultra Chad who dressed in a neon, like, highlighter colored morph suit. <laughs> <laughs> um, he got out immediately, but... <laughs> hey, it's, it's about, it's, it's, it's not about dream. <laughs> winning, it's about sending a message. Pretty much. <laughs> That's how I feel whenever I play Smash. But, um... I typically don't win. <laughs> I think we, okay, so... The, you aren't allowed to climb things, um... Mm. But I, I climb, I, like, scale, there's like a, um... Kind of hard to explain, but there's like a dorm... 
area that mm -hmm. is fenced in with a brick wall. And I got cornered in there, and the, one of the people were like, Oh, I know you have to come out. You're trapped in there. So he and like, two of the people that were in there were like, Oh, screw you, and scaled the brick wall and got out. <laughs> the the Mega Chad move, just levitating. <laughs> Dude, if, you, if you're not levitating, what honestly are you doing? The heck? Man. <laughs> Man. Mom. You know, this is... I wasn't really excited for Pumpkin Show this year. You know, I'm not seeing anyone, so I can't walk around with a girl, which is really the only fun thing you can do at Pumpkin Show. Um, and you know, just, I don't really have any friends I can walk around with. That... Huh. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Were we gonna walk around with the Pumpkin Show? No, what we didn't we last year. we behind the Pumpkin Show? <laughs> <laughs> but freaking. Oh, so, so this is actually giving me, this is making me happy. So oh, if, if well, anything, enjoy it, cause for if you. anything you're making me happy, <laughs> which I know you love so yeah, much. Yeah, that's what I live for. Oh, man. Pumpkin show is not gonna be fun for me this year. Not gonna lie. I mean, it hasn't been fun for a while. Oh, I just realized I got tall hats and pumpkins. Probably can come <laughs> without one of them. Hmm. What do, what do pumpkins do? They, okay, so it's like a walnut, but you can put it around a plant instead of in front, so it saves space. It's pretty good. Smart. No, don't eat that! Okay. I like I'm like, talking to my dog here, like, don't, <laughs> don't eat that, please. Oh, we got a puppy. Oh, yeah, it's an adorable uh, puppy dog. <laughs> Her name's Abby, and she's, she was adorable, but now she's, she's like a, she's like, you know, she's a little puppy, so she's teething. Mm. <laughs> literally everything, and I'm really afraid that uh, my stepsister is gonna cry about the dog quote unquote biting her all the time, so we have to get rid of her. <laughs> yeah, you didn't suck that's it what up. happened with our last dog. My dog bites me all the time. It's just something you gotta. My dog never like, grew out of it. It doesn't really hurt. You just gotta get over He's it. He's mouthing, he's not biting. Like. <laughs> that's the kind of. I don't like the people that are like, it's like, oh no, oh, your dog freaking, uh, they accidentally, um, one of their teeth touched my elbow, we gotta shoot it dead right here. Oh, Miss B, so Miss B, when she lived back <laughs> on here, um, her dog, oh my god. well, no, 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 so she, um, didn't like my dog, apparently, because I had it for, I, I had Dexter, um, back at the point when they still lived here. And I was walking him one day when he was a puppy, and the girls were, like, super excited to see him. Okay, now we get the most overpowered plant in the game. Anyway, the girls were, like, super uh, excited to see Dexter, and he was, like, all happy and jumping up and, like, <laughs> wanting to hold their hand. And Miss B comes out, and she's like, oh, and sees him jump once. You better get that thing under control! <laughs> okay. Yeah, all right, thanks. Mm, I remember one time. Uh... Me too. <laughs> <laughs> so, Noah... When we used to live in this development, he and the other neighborhood kids kind of had basically a gang. They were the, they were the biker gang, oh God. and they rode their bikes around the cul-de-sac over and over and over again. <laughs> and then one kid from down the street, about those his, name, his name was like, I don't remember what his name was. It was kind of retarded. <laughs> um, I don't know more. <laughs> yeah, it's not kid ourselves. And uh, oh my God, I he think apparently he got mad at my brother and basically said. I'm going to go home and get my sawed-off shotgun and then shoot your entire family. <laughs> and we were like, "You what now? <laughs> you what?" And then uh, him and his like friends came over and they were like kind of picking on Noah, um, and they're like starting to beat him up. So I was like, "All right, kid, here, here's the what what." Did so I start like? Did he say that? I kind of like pummel um, the the smallest one. And then they cry and go home, and then their mommy comes over, and then she's like, Hey, you've got a lot of explaining to do. You've got bullying, some bullying my kids. I'm like, Alright, lady. Here, <laughs> here's the deal. Alright, woman. Let me shoot you <laughs> your, your precious little angels were bullying my brother, and I will not tolerate that. And... If they think it's okay to pick on people, then maybe they deserve to be body pummeled in the ground. <laughs> so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna forgive. I'm not gonna say I'm sorry. I'm not gonna freaking do a do a handstand because you're mad at me or something. You're just gonna have to deal with the fact that your kids are brats. 
That's not my fault. That's your fault for bad parenting. And, uh... Yeah, that was probably the most rewarding day of my life, because <laughs> no bad consequences came out of that, surprisingly. Uh, she just went home. <laughs> she's probably like, well, frick, I can't really do anything at this point. He's kind of right. Do you remember Dorian? Any chance? <laughs> oh, yes. Let's talk kid. about Dorian again. <laughs> <laughs> the end, like, the infinite resource of commentary topics. The last time we talked about him was like, oh, geez, probably almost a year ago. He flirted with my sister. Oh, no. He, like, took us to his house. He's I like, despise want to see him. all my magazines of... <laughs> Highlight magazines. Highlight magazines. He offered me, he offered me to show me those, too. <laughs> I hated Dorian. It wasn't only because he was black. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that was part of it, yes. Uh, that was a heavy contributor. No, um, but he annoyed the crap out of me at every living like time of day. He would come to my house and like ask me if I wanted to play. I don't know what he meant by that. Um, <laughs> we didn't have anything in common. It's like the one Dario um uh, moment where Raleigh's like, hey, you want to come over and play i didn't and greg is like you can't say the play word or in middle school well, I say, is, it wasn't even that it's like i don't know what the frick he was trying to say to me like what what do you mean what activities are we engaging in when we say that um <laughs> not sex <laughs> thanks i had to say what hey we y'all scott here i'm about to get laid <laughs> <laughs> oh if you guys but... haven't seen it um sorry to interrupt but uh Go watch Scott the Waz's homecoming video. It, it harkens back to his original content and it's pretty good. Anyway. But, yeah, so Dorian, he would. I, I Every time he would ask me if I wanted to play, I would say, no, I have homework. I, I can't play today. And um, there was one time, I guess he just got tired. He sat outside of my house for literal hours. <laughs> and, like, it was two hours later, he was apparently sitting in my yard, like, in the middle of my yard. <laughs> for two hours and he's like are you done with the homework yet i walked out i'm like what the frick are you doing so i was like no i, I have a big project coming up i can't i am gonna be working all night and it sucks to be me but oh Ooh. my god he was that's a big yikes he was, like, he was literally sitting in the middle of the yard just sitting there staring at the like side of our house or something <laughs> It was a surreal moment. Imagine having that much free time. Oh. Like, my friends were all like, yeah, I, I got like 10 hours of sleep last night and like, all my homework's done. And I'm like, how? How do you have time for that? <laughs> like, what are you doing right in your life that I really need to change? Not because... having a social life. <laughs> Honestly, I don't have a social life either because I'm always working, it seems like. Oof. Like... To quote Dalton, I've kind of sold my soul to, to Dairy Queen. It's like, you get money, but at what cost? Your sanity? It's not worth it. I mean, it's... Well, maybe. It, it gives maybe me money you. for until Just YouTube routines. possibly kicks off. <laughs> which, luck. at that point, I'm quitting. <laughs> Why are you quitting if it kicks off? If it kicks off and we start making money off of this, I'm not working there anymore. Oh, so if I mean you're quitting the channel, like, what are you... <laughs> Oh, trying to insinuate here. Yes, if, if our channel kicks off and quitting the channel, that makes like, sense. Like, screw that, I'm <laughs> leaving you losers. No, but if if if, if the channel kicks off, I'm, I'm not working anymore. Is <laughs> YouTube... I actually well, did YouTube the calculations. Is work, we would need, just... like, 50,000 views per day to get realistic money to split between the three of us. So unless we can convince, like, Spencer to not take a cut, which is good freaking luck. <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, that's... That's not a bad goal to have. Like, if we somehow hit the recommended, if we hit the recommended system, and our videos start, you know, helping out the people, uh, fifty thousand, you know, it's not that bad. But I guess the consistency of it. Yeah, we'd have to definitely. Did you calculate keep it for like every single day? Yeah, it was like assuming we uploaded um once a day, um, um but. Oh yeah, so back to Dorian, because I'm not done with that kid yet. Um, there was one time that, um, so Isaac Fortin and I, who was the kid who lived across the street from me, um, he was a meme, but the kid who lived across the street from me, um, was, we liked to use walkie-talkies, uh, just because we didn't have phones, we were bored kids. Um, we, 
one of the things that we did is we would just call random channels to see if there is anyone available. Like I said, we were freaking bored, don't judge us. Oh, too late. Um, <laughs> yeah. um, but one of the channels we figured out is Dorian also used a walkie-talkie to communicate with his mother uh, where he was going, so we would... <laughs> I, I preferred the uh, the more like tactical approach of rubbing the walkie-talkie against my pant leg because it sounded like a dog panting. Um, <laughs> he preferred to okay magnet room, please please grab the pogo stick. Oh no, okay we're good. Uh, he preferred to um, scream as loud as he could every time that anyone else wanted to talk. <laughs> <laughs> so it'd be like, hey mop. Ah! <laughs> it was great, <laughs> but. Um, we, <laughs> oh man, so Dorian, was, yeah, he got kind of mad, and his oh. mom eventually threatened to come kick our butts, which is, which is all right. Thank I'm you. gonna kick your butt. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought of, too. But, yeah, his mom threatened to, like, come down and get us, um, wow. and Dorian said, my mom has a lot of guns. <laughs> Like, all right, go for it, man. <laughs> Sawed off shotgun. Gonna, they, they didn't say that. Your entire family. <laughs> so what we did is we closed the garage door, so they didn't know what house we were at, and then continued to do it, but louder. <laughs> so his mom never came. Surprise, surprise. But we like to screw with him now. He also claimed that he had like seven girlfriends that talked to him all the time. Um, we asked if we could ever meet any of them. He said that they were all on vacation at the same time, Ooh. on three separate occasions when we asked. <laughs> it's all one big family. <laughs> <laughs> all of my girlfriends, including this one guy who identifies as a girl, I guess. Um, <laughs> do you remember, uh, do you know Will Thomas Check? Yeah, I remember Will. Yeah, he, like, lives, like, down in, like, the, yeah. the big corner house down there. A lot um, of rich kids. Yeah. <laughs> Freaking rich kid, normie. Yeah. Um, anyway, it's, I I used to hang out with him all the time, and uh, I was over at his house once, and he was like, "Hey, I want to play hey. Halo." And I'm like, "No." <laughs> Mother said, "I can't play Halo. This the devil is tempting me, and I don't know what to do." So I went with. <laughs> Let's play some Halo with Will Thomas check, and I still haven't told my mom that I did that. I, I probably will eventually, but there's oh, no reason I thought to. I thought he told you that the devil is tempting you, and I was like, no, <laughs> what? no, it was um, my Ned Flanders impersonation. Um, but oh, okay. I decided, screw it, we're gonna play some Halo with Will, and I, I yeah, I still that. haven't told my mom, and it's been forever. So Your I mom's just gonna won't. get mad. You know, I don't know. But uh, hanging out with Will was awesome. Like, we would play Minecraft together and stuff, and, like, Mario. And <laughs> one time, he invited me over when he got this new pool toy uh, for his pool. And, okay, yeah, you cool. know, as, as you do. Yeah. And uh, he freaking invited his other friend Landon over, and we all got in it at once. But then somehow it, like, it got a rip in it at, like, ten minutes after we started using it. Ooh. Which kind of blowed. But, uh... Yeah, it would blow a lot of air if it got a rip. <laughs> <laughs> Sensible <laughs> chuckle from this side of the alley. Um, but anyway, so we're in it and we're like, guys, the captain has to go down with the ship. So we all pretend to drown. I'm pretty sure that Will almost drowned. Will literally drowned. He, he had a really good uh, impression. <laughs> ben drowned. But, uh, well, this is, this is a lot about our society. But uh, that was that was probably my favorite Will memory. A close second was whenever our moms signed us up for the uh, Junie B. Jones uh, acting program Nani. when we were in like second grade. So basically, we went up to the Columbus Children's um, Theater and like just did some Junie B. Jones stuff. As you do, or uh, you know, just read Junie B. Jones, um, <laughs> and then we present that to our lovely parents or something. Uh, it was kind of retarded, but at the same really time boring. it was like, you know, it's just so cool. We actually get to perform in front of people. Um, yeah, looking back on it, it's extremely embarrassing, and I can't believe that I actually did that. Well, it's just a kid hey, moment. Hey, you should put the star there. I, I shut the freak up. Or did you just have a pumpkin? 
I don't know if I'm going to need magnets or not, because these, these two are not going to cut it. I'm going to tell you that right now. Um. But anyway, yeah. That was, that was my neighbor story. Dude. I'm... I'm not talking about neighbors, I'm talking about the nerdy black kid who lived down the street. I'm still fixated on Dorian, I'm not leaving that topic. Do you have- do you- you've interacted with him at some points, I'm sure. What- what can you say about this lovely individual that- Honestly, here? nothing more than you come up with. Once you get off of this subject, I want to talk about the Bells. If you remember, if you know who they are. Uh, they were- me. they were our neighbors to the left of us. And I they were the reason it took our house so long to sell. <laughs> Let's just say that. Uh, and there's literally no way that they're going to watch this because I'm pretty sure the dad's in jail. Uh, <laughs> what? So I don't have to worry about them finding out. Freaking... So uh, when you're done, just well, so keep talking about Dorian. Oh, sorry. Um, yeah, I don't know. Okay, so let's see. Other notable moments. I think I mentioned this at one point before, but it's noteworthy. Um, he threatened to call the police on his walkie-talkie because we wouldn't give him an airsoft gun. <laughs> um, and he's like, this is discriminate- wait, well, this is discrimination. He's like, this is unfair towards me. I'm gonna call the police if you don't give me that. Thank you, and I was like, it. sure, Dorian, call the police. And he's like, I just have to find the cop channel. <laughs> I was like, okay. He <laughs> sounds like a black Simon. I just have to say Oh my god. It's like, okay. Mummy told me that I could not. Uh, Mother told me that well, I was Mummy told me that I had to read my highlights magazine before I went out today. <laughs> if I don't get a correct education, then what am I doing with my life? Good <laughs> <laughs> little Dorian. Oh man. A meme and a half right there. You can't take my phrases, those are copyrighted. <laughs> Well, speaking of phrases, uh, over the summer, I kind of developed, like, kind of adult vocabulary to an extent. Mm. And then, like, a few days in school, it's like, well, back to New Hope terminology, where we just say literally nothing that makes sense, like, incoherent rambling all the time. What, what's the Dalton vocabulary? We can't just leave that. I don't that know, in. it just makes me see, it's just, like, intelligent, and you, like, actually have meaning to your Let me adjust words. my monocle here, and... <laughs> <laughs> oh, freaking... Oh, freaking Frank. You can't even tell what's going on. Oh, <laughs> somehow that starfruit survived. Magnets steal their metal. <laughs> wow. Oh, jeez. They're, okay, yeah, they just kind of rushed us here. I, I, I don't know what's going on. Ow. But uh, now, so now my vocab consists of, like, just a bunch of bro and, like, bro. looking and, like, whenever <laughs> I greet someone, I don't even say their name anymore. I just come up with, like, the most cancerous thing I can think of. Like, Donovan, I just called Jathanathan's. And, like, Ben, I call Sven. And, oh, like, no. you just gotta, I don't I know. hope is poison me. I occasionally do that. <laughs> Alright, anyway, thanks for watching. Have a good Remember one. to subscribe.